Hello traders, FS Pericolette here. Today is Monday, August 26th, and we're going to be analyzing the pound yen starting on the monthly, working my way all the way down to the one hour time frame for the full top down analysis. So on the pound yen monthly, I do think this is very likely the end of a wave three. If that is the end of a wave three, then this is actually very, very likely to make an overlapping corrective pattern, probably going down to at least a 178.5 area at the 50% Fibonacci to make a wave four before it actually goes back up and makes a wave five. But keep in mind that just this wave four alone, because we're on the monthly time frame, potentially could last eight months, a year, or maybe even more. So going down to the weekly time frame, on the weekly time frame, it definitely is possible that we already have a wave A and that we're actually already in a wave B, which would be a crescent to the wave A. Then later on, you know, it goes down and makes a wave C like that, which I actually think the 50% is more likely. But we'll have to keep an eye on it because I still think there is a very likelihood that it, we're st actually still in a wave A and it might actually push down again. So going down to the daily time frame. So since we still haven't broken structure to the upside, I'm still looking at this move up as possibly a crescent to this last wave down. I still think there's a likelihood that it might try to go down and make another attempt on the downtrend. I am definitely still looking for sorts on sort of time frames. Now while I'm looking for sorts, if it makes one, two, three waves down to a Fibonacci retracement level or this last push up, and then a nice engulfing move to the upside, then that will definitely tell me to stop looking for sorts and start looking for longs again because we're likely already in a wave a b c of wave b like i was showing on the higher time frames but like i said i'm still looking for sorts and if it just keeps on drifting down like that then that's actually like a bonus trade so going down to the four hour time frame a lot of the yen pairs do look like they possibly are trying to end the crutzen now this could be a wave a or a wave one this could be a one two three up for either a wave b or a wave two we could be now right now in a wave c if we are at a wave c then it would most likely go down to a fib level make a fib bounce and then continue the uptrend or we are in a wave three and a wave three will still bounce from fib levels but it won't break structure it'll just keep on making lower lows lower highs so i'm definitely looking for sorts and while I'm looking for sorts I'm going to learn and earn whether this is a wave C or whether this is a wave 3. So taking it down to the one hour time frame, one hour time frame, I personally am definitely looking for sorts. I'm looking for one, two, three wave pullbacks to go sort again for the continuation of the downtrend. Whether it's a wave C or whether it's a wave three, I would definitely expect to see more movement to the downside for either scenario. And I think the four hour time frame, if we pay attention, we should better tell the difference between a wave C and a wave three. For now, I'm definitely looking for sorts in a downtrend at the end of three wave pullbacks. So, don't forget to join my free Discord channel, which is linked over here in the corner, and as always, thank you and happy trading.